Hello students, in today's lecture, we will discuss the numericals on the formula of Compton effect, which shows the change in wavelength due to scattering of light. Let us quickly see the formulas. The change in wavelength del lambda is equal to H upon M naught C into 1 minus cos theta. Also, you can use the formula cos 2 theta is equal to 1 minus 2 sine square theta and the formula then becomes 2h upon m naught c into sine square theta. Direction of recoiled Compton electron is equal to tan phi is equal to cot theta by 2 into 1 plus h mu uh, by m naught c square. Kinetic energy of recoiled electron is equal to h mu into 2 alpha sine square theta upon 1 plus 2 alpha sine square theta by 2 here. Theta is angle of scattering and alpha is recoil electron. The maximum kinetic energy is equal to 2 h square mu square upon m naught c square into 1 plus 2 h mu naught upon m naught c square. Remember one thing. Compton effect is not observed in visible light because it is very small. The formula for rest mass is M equal to M naught upon under root 1 minus V square by C square, where V will be the velocity of your object under consideration. C will be velocity of light. Now you better memorize Compton wavelength and its value so that the numericals will become very easy to solve. Compton wavelength lambda is equal to H upon M naught C, where H is Planck's constant, M naught rest mass and C velocity of light. Its numerical value is 0 0.0242 angstrom. We will use this value directly and solve the numericals very fast. Next, the energy of recoil electron is going to be maximum when theta is 180 degree. Minimum energy of incident photon is given by E equal to H upon lambda, where actually it is H, C, H mu and we have used it in terms of lambda. Few uh, general constants before approaching the numericals, one electron volt is 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 joule. M naught is 9.1 into 10 to the power of minus 31 kg. H is 6.63 into 10 to the power of minus 34 joule second. And velocity of light C is 3 into 10 to the power of 8 meter per second. Now, a beam of gamma radiations having photon energy 510 kilo electron volt is incident on a foil of aluminium. You have to find the wavelength of scattered radiation at 90 degree. Have a look at the question carefully. See, energy has been given to you as 510 ele kilo electron volt. First, change this. So 510 into 10 to the power of 3 because kilo is there and electron volt into joule 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19. And from Einstein's expression E is equal to H mu or HC by lambda. Simply the formula for lambda becomes HC upon E. H is Planck's constant 6.63 into 10 to the power of minus 34 and C the velocity of light. Put these values further simplifying the equation take all powers of 10 on one side collect them like this solve them and leave the answer either in terms of angstrom or one angstrom is 10 to the power of minus 10 meter next in a compton scattering experiment x-rays of wavelength 0 0.015 angstrom is scattered at an angle of 60 degree you have to find the wavelength of the scattered x-rays. See, del lambda or lambda dash minus lambda is h upon m naught c into 1 minus cos theta. You can 
Simplify the expression further by using the formula cos 2 theta is 1 minus 2, square, uh, 2 sine square theta. So del lambda equals to 2h upon m naught c sine square theta by 2. You can even use h upon m naught c value directly as Compton wavelength or if you want to solve, you can solve by putting the constants sine 30 degrees half and again collect all the values or powers of 10 on one side and you just get the answer directly. Next question. Calculate Compton shift if x-rays of wavelength 1 angstrom are scattered from a carbon block and you have been given the angle 90 degree at which they are viewed. So see, you have been given lambda as 1 angstrom. So change it into centimeters or meters if it is centimeter, then it is 10 to the power of minus 8 centimeter. H upon M naught C value, better memorize it. If you don't want to, then put all the constants here. Simplify the expression. You have been given theta as 90 degrees. So cos 90 is 0. And you get the answer for a lambda. A photon recoils back after striking an electron at rest. What is the change in wavelength? Del lambda is h upon m naught c into 1 minus cos theta. Since the photon is recoiling back, so the scattered angle will be theta equal to 180 degree. And h m naught c value has been given. This constant shift can directly be written as a constant. Don't find it for every numerical. And photon is returning back. So theta is 180 degree. Cos 180 degrees minus 1. Put the value 1 minus of minus 1 becomes 2 here and you get the answer in multiple of 2. Next question, when x-rays of energy 100 kilo electron volt, this you will have to change into 10 to the power of 3 into 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19. Angle has been given to you. You have to find the energy of the recoil electron. See, kinetic energy of recoil electrons is equal to decrease in the energy of the photon. So kinetic energy is equal to h mu minus h mu dash. What I will do is I will divide this equation by hc so that I can write it in terms of frequency. This trick I did earlier also when I was finding the derivation for Compton effect. So once I divide by hc, h and h will get cancelled. This will become c square. Here hc, hc, we will use the formula velocity is equal to frequency into wavelength. So wavelength is velocity upon frequency. I will put this value of lambda here up and now I will get the expression in terms of frequency. In this expression, I will just simply put the constants that have been given to me and solve the expression. Kilo electron volt, electron volt, don't uh, remember to change them. And then energy of the recoil electron will be h mu minus h mu dash. This has been explained in detail in your derivation of Compton shift. Gamma rays of energy 0.88 million electron volt. So this will be 10 to the power of 6. And electron volt 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 joule. They are made to fall on a sheet of aluminium. Calculate the maximum energy. E is h mu, which is hc by lambda. E will be replaced by 0.88 into 10 to the power of 6 into 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 joule. Lambda. You just put the values directly. Now you can do one thing in order to give the answer in terms of angstrom because one angstrom is 10 to the power of minus 10 meter. You multiply and divide by 10 to the power of 3. So when you will multiply, this will become 10 to the power of minus 10. And when you are dividing, this 14.18 can be written as 0 0.01418 angstrom. Let theta be the scattering angle, then Compton shift is given by del lambda equal to h upon m naught c into 1 minus cos theta. So energy of the recoil electron will be maximum when theta is equal to 180 degree. And 180 degree cos is minus 1. So this becomes 1 minus minus 1, 2 and you get del lambda maximum. 
corresponding wavelength of scattered ray lambda dash is equal to lambda plus del lambda maximum. And here we get lambda dash as 0.627 angstrom. And obviously the kinetic energy maximum from the very theorem itself will be h mu minus h mu dash or you take hc common into del lambda maximum upon del lambda dash. We have derived it in one numerical up. You can see from refer that again. Just put all these values which you have been given. If you want to leave the answer in terms of joule, no problem. If you want to convert it into electron volt, just divide it by 1.6. For what wavelength photon does Compton scattering result in a photon whose energy is one half of the original photon at scattering angle 45 degree? So Compton scattering del lambda is equal to H upon M naught C into 1 minus cos theta. H upon M naught C directly writes the Compton wavelength here. Theta is 45 degrees. So cos 45 degrees is 1 upon root 2. Root 2 is 1.41 and you get the answer. If Hc upon lambda be the energy of the incident photon, then energy of the scattered photon, you have been given in the numerical, it will be half of this. And then when we put half, this Hc, this Hc cancels, lambda dash equals to 2 lambda, put lambda dash equal to 2 lambda here, and you get the answer as lambda. An X-ray photon is found to have its wavelength doubled on being scattered through 90 degree. Find the wavelength and energy of the incident photon. So from Compton scattering experiment, del lambda is H upon M naught C into 1 minus cos theta. We have just done it in the previous numerical. Theta is 90 degree. You get your Compton wavelength. Energy of incident photon E equal to H mu is Hc by lambda. Put angstrom C and H values and you get the answer. X-rays of wavelength 1 angstrom are scattered from a carbon block. Find the wavelength of the scattered beam in a direction making 90 degree with the incident beam, kinetic energy and direction of recoil. First, we will find del lambda as we have done in all the previous numericals. Then put cos 90 equal to 0. Wavelength lambda dash of scattered radiation will be lambda plus del lambda. We have done this already in the previous numerical and kinetic energy of recoil electron is h mu minus h mu dash. So hc into del lambda upon lambda into lambda dash. This also we have done in the previous numerical. Take all terms of 10 on one side, solve so that it becomes a bit simple the expression. you If you want to uniform the terms, just Use any power of 10 in which you want to write the answers. Like suppose if you want to make it 10 to the power of 17. So just multiply and divide by 10. So you make it 10 to the power of minus 17. And if you want to give the answer in electron volt, divided by 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 joule. Direction of recoil electron, tan phi is equal to lambda up sine theta upon lambda dash minus lambda cos theta. Theta 90 degree, sine 91, cos 90, 0, tan phi equal to lambda upon lambda dash. You put the values and you get the answer. Next, a beam of radiation having photon energy 510 kilo electron volt is incident on the foil of aluminium. You have to find the direction of the emission of corresponding. So E is equal to H mu. We have done all these steps in one previous question. New thing which we will do is we will find the direction of the emission corresponding electron. So once we solve it for lambda and we can leave the answer in terms of uh, Lambda dash equal to lambda plus H upon M naught C into 1 minus cos theta, Compton wavelength and theta 90. So cos 90 is equal to 0. Energy of recoil electron is Hc into del lambda upon lambda into lambda dash. You get this. Now, direction of recoil electron is given by tan phi is equal to lambda sine theta upon lambda dash minus lambda into cos theta. Theta 90 degree, put the values and you get your answer. We have few more questions for you. Oh. 
ओके थैंक यू